my, my speaker. <laughs> and we need a topic for speaker. Yours. Being on fire. Algebra. Oh. Purple hair brains. Algebra while you're on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Howdy, y'all. I'm I'm Frank. I came in the back door. I don't know what's going on, but <laughs> I reckon I'm going to talk about algebra while you're on fire. <laughs> One second <clears throat> at a time. Um, that's how you do algebra when you're on fire. That's I learned that a couple of years ago. Um, yep. Next, next, next slide. I ain't got nothing more to say about that. <laughs> um, <laughs> if you've been <clears throat> to one of them public schools, one of them government schools, um, you're a puppet. I mean, you know, <laughs> like at the end of the day, you know, the teacher's up there, and she says, you know, do algebra, and you do algebra. She says, uh, uh, you can't go to recess no more until you learn you got to keep your pants on the whole time. And, you know, I mean, she says, uh, aren't you kind of old to be in the third grade anyway? And, uh, and you just go along with it. I mean, that's what you do. I mean, you know, I mean, you're, you're a puppet. We're puppets. Uh, and uh, so I think you see where this is going. Next slide. <laughs> So, uh, one day the teacher fell asleep. I brought my daughter to school. She's in third grade, too. And uh, I told her, I said, see, here's the thing, baby. Um, we don't need no education. I said, we don't need no thought control. I said, the Dukes of Hazard are in this classroom. Uh, and then told the teacher to leave, leave them kids alone. And uh, when so, you know, so while the teacher was asleep, my daughter painted his face. And uh, then we went to the cafeteria, and uh, there was some mix up there about whether we could have the meat or the pudding. I don't know. But uh, anyway, next slide. So. I said, here's what we need, though. What if we had a big old bread machine, right? So here's how the bread machine works: is uh, you sit there at the at the end of the table, right? Um, you're drinking coffee, you know. I mean, like you do in third grade, and um, and the bread is ginormous. I mean, this is the trick behind it. The bread's got to be like. The bread is half as tall as you are, right? And um, and uh, and and so when you're hungry, uh, you just peel off a slice of the bread, and you can eat as long as you want to, as long as uh, as long as you, all you want to eat is bread and coffee. And uh, I said we are sitting on a gold mine here um, with the bread machine idea. And uh, the teacher, he says, uh, well, here's the thing. You don't know how to invent a bread machine. Well, I got thinking about it, and uh, you know, I really don't. I mean, <laughs> you know, I get that you gotta have big old bread, but I don't know where that bread's coming from. I mean, look at that—it's just bread as far as you can see. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so where does the bread come from? And I said, "All right, Mr. Smarty Pants, with your knowing stuff." How do you invent a, uh, a giant bread machine? He said, well, you got no algebra. And I said, well, I don't know nothing about no algebra. And, um, and uh, he said, well, you got, you got X's and, um, and you got Y's. And um, then he said some other stuff. I don't know. <laughs> and uh, so I said, all right, all right, I can work with that. And uh, so next slide. Well, my first attempt didn't work the way I planned. Uh, I think I put my eyes where my X's were supposed to go. And, uh, and I invented a banana dog. Um, man, the way it screamed. 
<laughs> and uh, finally, uh, fi I mean, uh, finally, you know, let it go to a better place. <laughs> Ice cream and cherries. <laughs> and uh, next slide. <laughs> but so this is pretty much the path of inventing the uh, the, the infinite bread machine. Um, I said, well, here's what I'm doing wrong. I ain't using nothing but, but X's and Y's. What if I started using some K's? <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> 13 years ago, I had no K's. Um, two years later, you know, I was doing anywhere from 7 to 21 K's, um, depending, on, uh, depending on how many I thought I needed, you know. And, uh, uh, I brought that back down some two years later, you know, I said, okay, well, I probably need to be somewhere in this range, and I uh, kind of stayed there for a while. Somebody tried to tell me about something called a 401k, but that's way the heck too many k's, I mean. <laughs> uh, so, two years later, anyway, so you can see that where this is going, is uh, this is the day that I said, okay, well, I think I'm ready to, uh, to try it out, and uh, so, well, you can't bake a big old loaf of infinite bread in just like your normal kitchen oven. You need something big. So, uh, so I set the whole house on fire. <laughs> and uh, as the house caught fire and I was there in the middle of it, I uh, realized I was probably doing my algebra wrong. And, uh, well, so you can see about five years ago, that's where I just kind of quit. <laughs> so, uh, next slide. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> you said it, brother. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> puppet man. <laughs> we all like nothing but puppets. You all may recognize them from uh, Mr. Rogers. <laughs> you know, like the early rejected pilots from Mr. Rogers. They didn't have a, you know, well, it was just people, and that was Daniel Tiger. <laughs> and, uh, that was actually, believe it or not, what, what Mr. Rogers wore the first episode. <laughs> they told him he had to change clothes, and he just never stopped. <laughs> Next slide. <laughs> so my neighbor had this idea that he was going to try and go to the moon. <laughs> Don't know what ever happened to him. <laughs> Last time I saw him, he was at the CVS. Next slide. But I know what happened to his livestock. <laughs> I gave up on the uh, on the infinite bread machine, but I figured as long as the house was on fire, baby, 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 I just came on in. <laughs> she was fine with banana dog. <laughs> but big, she says, oh no. Uh, <laughs> Next slide. <laughs> so, in conclusion, it reminds me of something that uh, Louis XIV, the Sun King, said when he was sitting around in Versailles one day. <laughs> Playing his uh, his his fiddle, because uh, uh, he was there. There was a uh, the, you know the the, um, the French people. They were wanting to have a revolution. He said, "So you want to say you want a revolution?" <laughs> and uh, he started playing that, and uh, he's doing pretty good. And who should show up? Uh, but the devil. <laughs> and. <laughs> The devil said, you may not know this, <laughs> but you need to tell your wife not to say nothing about cake. <laughs> he said, what are you talking about, devil? Get thee behind me, Satan. And he didn't listen. Y'all know how that turned out. And uh, I think that really says everything that you need to know about the infinite bread machine and uh, about doing algebra on fire. So uh, thank you all very much.